This is the obituary of David Theophanes, 1947 to 2022. David Theophanes, age 74, died May 3rd, 2022, of age-related cause and the conclusion of early onset Alzheimer's disease, which was diagnosed in 2005. He was born July 20th, 1947, in Los Angeles, California, to Emil and Winifred Theophanes. He married Rachel Wilson, a classmate at Dallas Bible College, on May 5th, 1974. David received his airframe and power plant accreditation upon graduation from Lane Community College in 1968, then joined the Army and served his country repairing helicopter turbine engines during the Vietnam conflict from January 1969 to 1972. Desiring to grow in his understanding of God and the Bible, David enrolled in Dallas Bible College in the fall of 1972 and went to school part-time while working at White Rock Airport in Dallas, Texas. Following his graduation in 1977, David moved his family to Oregon and began working at Eugene Aircraft. In 1979, he began his career at Swanson Superior Forest Products first as a millwright mechanic, then as maintenance supervisor. He stepped down from this position in 2002. David led his family with love. He shared his skills and care with members of the community and the congregation at Olivet Baptist Church in Venita, Oregon, and was a man of integrity and quiet strength. He is survived by brothers Dave and Pete and his sister Wanda, Rachel, his wife of nearly 48 years, his children Nathan, wife Julie, his son Joel, his wife Julie, Hannah, Sarah, her husband Ben, Daniel, his wife Janice, and Jason, his wife Alina, as well as 11 grandchildren. A memorial service is planned for June 25th, 2022, 2 p.m. at the family residence. Giving us your soul. 
giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till the work on earth is done. Revelation 1, 17 through 18. Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and, the, and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. John 14, 19. Because I live, you shall live also. Revelation 14, 13. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and, and their, their works do follow them. 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 55. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but, but we, we shall, shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet shall sound, and, and the, the dead, dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? David is not here. He is standing in the presence of his Lord, the same Jesus who said to the dying man on the cross, Today you will be with me in paradise. The body that lies before us here is but an earthly tabernacle, the house in which David lived among us for a time. Tenderly and reverently, we commit that house to the grave, to God who gave it, waiting for the day when both the spirit and the body shall be again reunited at the coming of her Lord. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-18 For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words.
thank you this day for your precious eternal and unchanging word we thank you that you are to us the rock of ages and the great I am in the midst of our natural sorrow we thank you for your supernatural comfort and grace in the face of death we thank you for your gift of eternal life in the face of separation we thank you for the eternal reunion we so eagerly anticipate we thank you for david's life here on this earth and we recognize that the body that lies before us is not david but rather the house in which he lived and we acknowledge that david is rejoicing even now in your presence enjoying the blessings of heaven father we commit his body to the earth from which our bodies were originally created and we rejoice in the fact that his spirit is even now with you the father of spirits we anticipate the day when spirit and body shall be united again at the coming of the lord and we find great comfort in knowing that we shall forever be together with the lord we thank you father that in the days weeks and months to come these realities and the abiding presence of your spirit will especially strengthen sustain and comfort david's friends and family and it is in your name that we ask these things amen